The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Luma Imports. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. And I'm Megan the Daughter. Megan, what are we going to open today? We are going to open Mississippi Queen. Yeah, not like the song. You know, da -da -da, Mississippi Queen. No, this is from okay. Super Meeple and sent to us from Luma Imports. This is a racing game with the, the old boat. with the old boats. Yeah, that's kind of cool. We're gonna have some coal. You know, we're gonna Here. be picking up passengers, dropping them off, that sort of thing. This is a reprint. I've actually played the original, uh, so I'm curious to see what new things are in with this one. So let's open it up, and check it out. Okay. He's throwing his hat at the guys. No, I don't think he's throwing. I think he's waving. He's very excited. He's like, don't run over me. I don't think that's a problem. See the back there. All right, Megan. Mm -hmm. it's kind of a heavy box. It is not Francis Drake heavy. And it does have some heft to it. So here is our rule book. Four player set up, set up for the basic rules, goal of the game, advanced rules, tiles for advanced rules, special rules for two or six players, all right, the black rose, expansion for two to five players, and then possible variants, and player aids. All right, so this, and then See the back this there. is why it's so heavy. Oh, I feel wow. how heavy that is. That's got that's yeah, the heft. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's where all the weight's at. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, the artwork continues. Baggy of baggies. These, I am immediately drawn to these. These look super cool. Yeah, those are a lot better than the original version. Um, because these I think they were just like little uh, are like 3D. sorry dudes. Yeah, these are like little 3D printed ladies with their nice big parasols. And those are really cool. I like those. Or maybe they were. I don't know. I've, it's been a little while since I've played and I don't really remember. They might be the same. That's cool though. I like that. You've got a lot of those there. And then we have a dice with different directional movements. Yeah, that's going to be showing kind of the flow of the river. You're going to roll that uh, whenever you're crossing over. And... Mm -hmm. Tells you which way to put the uh, put the tiles. So. Here, can I show yeah. off these? I want to show off these first. These are cooler. Okay. These are cool. Yeah, these Look are at those cool. boats. That yeah. one's mine. This one's mine. Yeah. That is so cool, though. So there's going to be a wheel on one side that's going to show your coal, and wheel on the other that's going to show your speed. Like just the attention to detail on this. Yeah, these I mean, are a little bit bigger, I think, than the uh, original ones too. So yeah, here are if you want to grab one of those. What that looked like. Yeah. So yeah, these little tiles here. So drop that out. one and like that. That's kind of cool. So then you yeah. can just there you can you can kind of turn them a little, or you can pick them up and move them. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So then go ahead and you can show off the river. Yeah. So like you here, you have your uh, I think this is your starting spots because you're going out that way. Since the numbers are positioned out like that. This is what it actually looks like. Ha ha. Okay. That's kind of cool. I like how they're all modular. Yeah, that probably is a start with like turn order. Yeah, and this one like it's, it shows, says A11 down here. See, this is A0. So probably corresponding with the variants and stuff. Could be, or these could also be the two starting. Maybe. Yeah. Because, so you're going to put these together. Like this, they're actually going to lock in pretty, pretty decently. And then when you roll that die, and you have to place another one, um, yeah, you're going to be placing them mm. on these other spots, depending on which direction. That punch out also had a little white cardboard. Well, and this bobbin. punch out has a little red. That one has a yellow one. Interesting. Oh, you know what? There's I figured it blue. out. Oh, the show. Turn on door. Oh, oh yes. ain't that clever? 
figured it out. See, if you read. Reading's fundamental. I mean, then you can learn some stuff. This is your measuring stick. So I don't remember that being in the original Figure lady. out where you're going, which is important. Now, here is another green. These Now, this is a little bit bigger, and it's got spots for... Uh, People. Well, that's what it looks like. Well, yeah. You maybe keep those in front of you instead of putting those? I think you keep the people those? in front because they don't fit on the boat. There's no way for your people to fit there. Well, that's true. So I think they go on that. Although that one doesn't have the circular circles like that one does. Yeah, it does. You just can't see it because it's white on white. Really? I can see it. Yeah. Well, you know, we should read this book. Yeah, here's the uh, red one you can actually see. We need to better. figure it out a little. There's the pink. So that is for your passengers. Does it say that you keep also that Also take price? the big boat token of your color and place it in front of you to identify your color. You will also place your two passengers on it once you pick them up. See? Dude, once you read, things make so much more sense. Well, typically we don't read uh, until we actually I start know, playing. I know, but I was curious what it meant. I want to know. Or I could have guessed. I just could have looked at the front page. I was actually trying to read the setup and figure out what they were. This actually tells you. These are cool. I like those. They're not like a typical modular piece. They have some yeah. weird shapes to it. Yeah, so you can see there is a big stack of those. There are um, 12. 12? 1, 2, 3. No, they can't be. There's 12... Basic, and then there's six advanced. What makes them basic and advanced? It probably says, yeah, because A, A is the basic, and then B is the advanced. Oh, so many Bs. I mean, there's probably some in there somewhere. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there are Bs. C. Are Bs. Mm -hmm. Are Bs? I get it, are Bs. So there's wow. a B there, there's an A. So and then, all yes, numbered. this was your start, and then this is your finish. Yep. Cool. It is cool. I like this looking already. Yeah. Mainly if just for these components. Those are cool. So, yeah, that's why your box is going to be uh, extremely heavy there. Yes. So we need to actually put some of those in baggies. Yeah, baggies, yep. We got little baggies. You can see how everything fits in the box. did go ahead and, and used one Gerber just for those uh, cardboard ship tokens. Everything else we kind of left in the bag. I mean, it comes with a baggie, so you don't have to Gerber that. And I know the original one actually had an insert insert where, like, the passengers, uh, I think, and maybe even the boats, kind of fit in those. Mm -hmm. But this is just kind of wide open, and that's fine. I don't think anything's going to go anywhere. The little book fits right there on that side. And then that is it. It's yep. a Mississippi Queen. Yep, that is Mississippi Queen, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.